there and welcome to another Game Zong video here on the Tech Zonk channel. This is Beyond Castle Wolfenstein and this is going to be a uh, multi-part series. We're going to be playing through this game on the Atari 800XL. This was one of my just all-time favorite games back in the day. I really enjoyed this one. We're going to go ahead and start in a new bunker. So the interesting thing about playing it on uh, you know emulation is that you know you don't have these crazy load times that you used to have when you were loading this from disk. It actually comes up a lot faster which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Ultimately, it's pretty much the same game on an emulator as you remember it on the 800XL. So here I am in the start screen. So I'll go ahead and just kind of get my bearings here. So the interesting thing about once my pass, so you know you don't know what your pass is right off. So one of the things that you have to do is kind of guess, and you throw out a pass to this guy, and if you have it, you're in good shape. If you don't, you got to bribe the guy with money, or else he pulls out his gun, and starts chasing you down. So this is not going to help me. But one of the things that you do is you go through and you try to find items that are going to help you throughout the game. Um, I have a tendency to sort of employ a strategy here. Now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of moving around trying to sort of control this guy's marching pattern. Because what I'm going to do is I am going to kill him. And this is sort of a strategy that I tend to employ and it's not necessarily a popular one. But what I do is I just try to leave no enemies behind uh, for a couple of reasons it it lets me know where I've been and when the time comes to escape then I know that I've already been in this room and it sort of is uh, it serves as sort of a breadcrumb for me so uh, you can search your body after you take these guys out and see what they've got and usually this is how you accumulate your passes or more money so I'll show this guy my pass and it's not three he pulls out the gun so of course I give him I give him some money and I'm not going to take them out. There's a couple of guys in that room, so I can't really do it in a very stealthy way. Come back to this guy. If I can usually get some money back, I'll you know, go back and check a dead body that I've already looked at. And just the way that the game works, sometimes I can get something out of it. This guy wants to kill my pass. I still don't know it yet. It's not five, so I'll bribe the guy. He always They always take the bribe. Now what I'm going to do is see if I can just wipe this dude out and retrieve my money and my pass. Just get uh, well positioned here, make sure I'm in good shape. Take this guy out, and he is down. Now one of the things you can do is you can actually drag these bodies. I'll move him away here. You just step one, one block away from him. Press the space, space bar, same thing to search. All right, so this is locked. So to unlock a locked door, you have to find the combination. It involves being very quiet. But as I go through and I touch these keys, you hear that little plink. And that little plink means I found one of the numbers in the combination. So you just kind of get through here. It's a bit tedious, but ultimately you get the three-digit combination. You can open up the door. And usually there's something good. In this case, it's a dagger. I want that. I'm going to take that dagger. So what I tend to do is I tend to make sure that I spend a lot of time on the first floor. And I will make sure I got my dagger. I'll make sure that I've got my bomb. you got to have the bomb. The bomb is on the first floor. So this guy, I don't know, I don't know about him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run away from him. But you get your dagger and you get your bomb. And at a minimum, I think that's what you need to play a good game of Beyond Castle Wolfenstein. Alright, so I still don't know what my pass is. So I had to bribe this guy. You know, I just can't live with that. The guy's got my money. I'm gonna have to take him out. Let me see if I can just get into a good spot here to do that. Let me just uh, see if we can adjust his marching pattern here. Get him to just move down that corridor. If I can get behind him, actually, I might just go ahead and take him out up here. That might work for me. Hold on. Let me get my weapon out here. And when he comes right back up again, we'll just pluck him one in the head. You won't even know what hit him. Poor guy. Go over there and see what he's got. But like I was saying, if you've got a dagger and you've got the bomb, then you're pretty much done with the first floor and you want to move on. Let me see what we've got here. I'm still looking for the bomb. So I'm going to employ my locking strategy here. We want to find all of the digits in the locked door. So you hear that plink sound. There we go. So a toolkit. I don't necessarily need it. I'll go ahead and I'll grab it in the event that I do. But the toolkit is used on the alarm system. If you happen to trip the alarm system, you can go into the alarm control room and disable the alarm system. I've never found that that's ever been very effective for me. 
Okay, so I still don't know what my pass is and I'm just not comfortable talking to the guy at the desk yet. Let me just move on. So really at this point, all I need to do is find that bomb. All right, this guy wants to know what my pass is and I still don't know. I'm just gonna give him the money, he's gonna move on. So ordinarily I would take these guys out, but I don't have a clean way to do that yet. I'm just gonna move on. Just give this guy some money. Of course, take my money back by taking this guy out, of course. Let me just see what we've got over here. I don't need that. You know, they throw some decoys in some of these closets make you think that you can use them. You really can't in a lot of cases. Art objects, for example. You find diaries. You know, it'll, you find keys sometimes. In fact, you'll, you'll not only find keys, but sometimes when you're bribing a guard at the desk, they'll tell you that keys are very valuable. And in actuality, they, they aren't. I've never found keys to be useful. I found that there are instructions in the manual of this game to use the keys, but I've never actually found that they're useful. All right, so what I did was I switched my weapons, and then I stabbed this guy. You switch the weapons by doing uh, the asterisk key. That's shift eight, and that'll switch you from your knife, I'm sorry, from your gun to your knife, or vice versa. Okay, so my pass is four. So now we know that my pass is four. That's good to know. So on this floor, Anytime anybody asks me for a pass, it's going to be four. So all I really need to do at this point is I need to find that bomb. This guy wants to know my pass. We know that we can comfortably tell him our pass is four. And he's like, yep, good to go. You're good. No issues with you. I'm nothing to be suspicious about. Please don't stab me. Oh, too late. He has been stabbed. Like I said, I'm, I'm really just doing this because it lets me know that I've been in the room. And then when I actually get to my objective, then I know that I can turn around and I can make my escape without being stopped. So it sort of serves as a breadcrumb in addition to expedite my escape. So I don't want you to watch this and think, geez, this guy doesn't know how to sneak around. I know how to sneak around. I'm just sort of employing a strategy that I used to use when I was a young kid. It seemed to work for me then, and I'm hoping it'll work for me now. All right, another locked door. So let's see what we've got here. So if you listen very carefully, it may be hard to hear. It's that little plink. All right, secret passage. Ordinarily, I'd be interested in a secret passage. I don't want to use that now. I'm going to go ahead and move away from that. I still have not found my bomb, so I don't want to be taken too far off track. I want to make sure I've got my bearings and I know where I am so that I can sort of follow a trail and then get to the elevator with my bomb. Now, of course, if you've never played this game before, what your objective is, is to sneak through Castle Wolf, I'm sorry, not Castle Wolfenstein, but sneak through this bunker, because Hitler is on the very bottom floor. You're, you're supposed to find a time bomb, and when you locate that bomb, reset it to its max, get it as close to Hitler as you possibly can, and then bail, get out of there. And sometimes it can be pretty tough. Now, I'm sort of losing myself here, I'm not quite sure where I am. I see this is not going to help me. I've got to find that bomb. Let's get this guy my pass. Okay, and then what I find is that I spend the most time on the first floor. Once I get past everything that I need to get past on the first floor, meaning I've got all the items that I know that I need, including the bomb, I can pretty much sail through the rest of the game because I'm not checking closets, I'm not, you know, looking for anything of any importance. The only time you might ever get thrown off track, I'll use that, is if you end up getting wounded and you need to find a medical kit or a first aid kit. Then I might get a little bit thrown off and start checking all the doors and stuff to find a medical kit so I can sort of repair myself. It really slows you down if you're wounded. All right, nothing here, let's move on. Of course, I have to take this guy out. Poor guy, didn't stand a chance. All right, so again, we're looking for that time bomb. Once I find that bomb, then I know I'm in great shape. Now, I can't have these two guys cruising around here. I'm going to have to take them out. All right, it's four. I'll show him my pass. Now, what I can do because I have the dagger is I can take that guy out silently down below out of the view of the desk guy using my dagger. That means the guy at the desk isn't going to hear that this has happened. Now, if I were to shoot this guy down here, the desk guy, he can hear it, and he's got alarm controls under his desk. He'll, he'll trip that alarm. 
Now, what this is really important. You have to switch your weapon before you go to the desk guy. If you pull a knife on the desk guy, he will immediately pull that alarm. Otherwise, he puts his arms up like this, and then you take him out. Super simple. All right, let's see what we've got here. Locked. All right, we're going to do our plink plink. Let's see what we've got. Secret passage. All right, I don't want that. So it's getting a little frustrating. I do need to find that bomb. Let's give this guy my pass. All right, not 100% sure if I'm getting myself into a dead end here. Let me see what we've got in here. All right, it's locked. Now, I actually can't open a locked door when I've got a living guard marching around. The sound of the marching makes it impossible for me to pick the lock. So I definitely need to take this guy out. Let me go ahead and do that. Let's just get in his way here and see if we can interrupt his marching pattern. Let's see if we can just guide him to go up. There we go. We'll take him there. All right. He doesn't have anything. That guy is completely useless. So let's see what we've got. I'm hoping this is... Uh, this is all right. Now, see, that would be interesting, too. Uh, that could very well tell, take me down to the very bottom, the very third floor, which would shortcut the game entirely. But without the bomb... I don't want to use that. Gotta find that bomb. All right. Let's see what I can do with this guy. Right, let's first check and see what we got up here. All right. So I'm loaded with passes now at this point. Oh, Get that guy out. Almost goofed it on that one. Let's see what he's got. Not a whole lot of helpful stuff. All right. So we're still looking for that bomb. Bail out of that room. I don't see anything obvious there. Let's see. Check this real quick. All right. Anytime I find something locked, that's encouraging. But first, I got to take this guy out. All right. He wants my pass. We'll give him my pass. Boom. And he is down. Okay. So he's got a little bit of money. But ultimately, we want to find something really great in this closet. We're going to pick the lock. Listen carefully for my plink plink. Okay. Almost. Almost there. All right, I've already got that. I kind of figured that's what we were going to see. The combination of that lock was looking awfully familiar to me. So we got to keep on moving. Got to find that bomb. Let's see what we've got over here. Yeah, see, something like this is, you know, that's not going to help me. And I'm just going to leave this room. It's a dead end. I would like to leave a living guard there just to let me know when I come back here that, hey, I don't need to be there. So let's see if we can find it. It's pretty easy to sort of lose your place here. And I'm almost kind of getting there, as you can see. And then I'll panic, I'll bump into those walls. All right, move on here, let me see. I honestly don't know if I check this. Let's see what we've got here. Locked, all right, maybe, but of course, we have got to take this guy out. It's as good a place as any. Take him down. Okay, not a lot going on over here. Let's go ahead and see what we've got in this closet. Let's see what we've got. All right, we're doing our plink plink action here. A steady hand. Uh, that's what I was looking for, the bomb. We're going to go ahead and grab that. So, of course, now the time bomb timer is up, and then you have to keep your eye on that through the duration of the game because that thing is clicking down, and if you click down and let that thing explode before you've delivered it, your game is over because you are effectively dead. So it just sort of adds another element to the game. You know, you have to... Uh, be mindful of uh, this is what I was looking for is the elevator so here's what we'll do we'll close the video here but first we're gonna take this guy out but you definitely have to be watching your time bomb making sure that you're keeping that thing from blowing up prematurely staying alive goodbye my friend
take what he's got and we're good to go. So what we'll do is we will move on to the next floor. Now that we've got our bomb, the first thing I'll do is just drop the bomb here. I press B to let it go and R to reset the bomb timer. And when it's reset, I pick it right back up and then I'm good to go. So thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and pay close attention to my channel. We're going to be continuing this series coming up here real quick. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.